FAO Schwartz is finally back in New York. FAO Schwartz has struggled with rising rent and heightened competition from rivals like Amazon. FAO has shuttered dozens of locations across the U.S. since 2001, finally closing its iconic New York store in 2015. But now, the toy store is back. It's reopening a location in New York City, walk-on keyboards and all. German immigrant Frederick August Otto Schwartz founded his toy bazaar in 1862 in Maryland. By 1870, he had expanded to Philadelphia, Boston, and New York City. The flagship store at Union Square opened in 1880, and the company rebranded to FAO Schwartz in 1889. After the two world wars, FAO Schwartz became a major player, carving out a niche as a purveyor of high-end toys. It wasn't just the toys that drew customers, it was the whole experience of shopping there. Live toy soldiers flanking the doors, a giant musical clock tower, and more epitomized FAO Schwartz's original mission for a theatrical and extraordinary toy store. When you're a kid, you don't always remember maybe the toys that you get, but an experience like FAO Schwartz, they can go and experience that with your kid and give something to them that they're going to remember amazing. forever. That's amazing. I can't if you've never FAO been. was a titan of toys and landed a role in the 1988 movie Big, starring Tom Hanks. <laughs> During the 1990s, FAO focused on opening new stores, reaching a maximum of 42 locations across the country by 2001. However, that same year, FAO sold 23 locations to a company called Rightstart and closed another 18. FAO filed for bankruptcy two times in 2003, saved only by the investment firm D.E. Shaw and its catalog and online businesses. In 2009, another doomed toy store bought FAO. Toys R Us. The company added FAO shops to its stores during the holidays. However, in the seven years Toys R Us owned FAO, the brand continued to struggle. In 2010, FAO closed its Las Vegas location, followed by its iconic New York location in 2015. It seemed the high-end toy store was gone for good. But in 2016, a company called 360 Group swooped in and bought FAO for an undisclosed amount. Experiential is probably the biggest buzzword in retail today, and we joke that we've got a brand that's 150 years old and was experiential before it was cool to be experiential. Now, right before the 2018 holiday season, FAO Schwartz is back. The 20,000 square foot store opens Friday, November 16th at 30 Rockefeller Plaza in New York City. The new store features some of the same experiences, but with modern twists. New toy soldier uniforms designed by supermodel Gigi Hadid, an updated clock tower, and contemporary toy offerings. And of course, it's FAO Schwartz, so we have the big dance on piano, but this time not just on the floor, it's also on the ceiling right above. Going forward, the company hopes to open stores in Canada, China, England, Spain, and Australia, bringing FAO's mission for a theatrical and extraordinary toy store around the world. Thank you.